Custom Roll Farm Products has become one of the advanced leaders in production equipment. In today's ever-changing market, we have developed new designs and concepts which will give you the competitive edge that no other company can offer. The wave of the future calls for dedicated on-time production systems. Pre-tooled applications with a minimum amount of setup, downtime, or changeover required. The equipment you will be seeing has been completely designed, engineered, and manufactured by custom roll farm products with a broad background in coil lines, roll farmers, punch and notch systems, and end form or tangent former systems. Our complete system design allows us to tailor complete turnkey production lines to match your application. <laughs> The next two systems were built for the same company to eliminate labor costs for producing a Venturi housing for an air handling system. They first purchased the D-stack and feed system shown here and later purchased the beating unit we'll show next. The D-stack and feed unit eliminates an operator and was set up to feed the parts to the next weld operation on an on-time basis. It's designed to feed and curl the parts and drop them into a holding bin. As the welder removes a part, it signals the feeder to cycle and feed another part. The second part of the system was designed to bead the part after it's welded, all automatically. The operator removes the part from the welder and inserts directly into the guides of the bead unit. The bead unit automatically loads and positions the part, beads both ends, and ejects it into a holding bin. With the combination of the curling unit and beading unit, the customer was able to convert a four-man operation into a one-man system with the welder operator running all three phases. The system is capable of forming cylinders from 5 inches to 24 inches diameter and from 8 inches to 24 inches in length. The only setup required is positioning the in-feed guides that hold the part. The rest of the operation is self-centering. The beading roll index into the part until they make contact, clamp and curl, then eject and reload for the next cycle. <laughs> 